If I knew what I know now, I would have dodged years of frustration and saved tons of money. Here's the hard truth that no one tells you. If I had known these 10 game-changing secrets from the start, I would have saved myself years of brutal frustration, countless sleepless nights, and more money than I can stomach to admit losing. Starting and buying businesses taught me the hard way, and trust me, this isn't the fairy tale people love to sell. I purchased luxury spas in New Jersey, Florida, Pennsylvania. Walking into businesses that were already cash machines, I grabbed two laundromats and turned them into cash flow monsters. I even built a trucking company and a restaurant from the ground up. And this year, I started two private career schools that are still in the grind mode to profitability. Whether I was stepping into a well-oiled money-making machine or hustling from scratch, the cold hard truth of buying and starting a business hit me square in the face. In this video, I'm laying it all out. I'm about to share the raw, unfiltered truth no one tells you. These are the real lessons that can save you from the landmines I had to dodge. If you want to avoid getting burned and learn what it really takes to win, you're in the right place. Here's the first one. Passion fades, discipline wins. You know, when I started my massage therapy school, I was over the moon. I thought, this is it. This is my dream finally coming to life. But let me tell you, reality hit hard. The excitement quickly gave way to the daily grind, managing finances, dealing with the students, complaints, facing endless regulations. There were mornings I just didn't want to get out of bed. And I remember one night staring at the ceiling at 3 a.m. wondering if I'd made the right decision. I was completely drained. It wasn't passion that got me out of bed the next morning. It was discipline. I pushed through. J.K. Rowling, one of my favorite authors who just kept going after rejected 12 times when trying to publish Harry Potter. That's a great example. Passion starts your journey but discipline keeps it going when it gets tough. And I've seen it happen to people I know. I had a friend, she was a nurse, who was so passionate about opening a home for elderly care. It was her dream and she had the perfect mix of skills to make it happen. She got her PLLC, similar to an LLC, but it's for doctors and nurses. Came up with a great name and even started dreaming up her perfect website design. But passion wasn't enough to get her through writing a business plan, analyzing the market, running around for regulatory approvals. And unfortunately, the business never got off the ground. I'm sure we all know people, including ourselves, where we have this great idea, but the amount of time and effort it takes to tear us. So here's the hard truth. A phenomenal business idea alone isn't enough. Even with all the passion in the world, you need discipline to push through the tough, unglamorous work. And there will be unglamorous work. It's the one thing no one talks about, but that's what makes the difference between having a dream and making it happen. Secret number two, buying a business is better than starting one. I've started and purchased businesses, and my experience has taught me that purchasing is often the smarter move. Every business I launched from scratch required me to pour everything into it. Money, time, I mean everything, and it was exhausting, but every business I purchased was different. It was like stepping into a wealth oil machine, the customers, the staff, and systems were already in place. I didn't have to start from zero. I could focus on enhancing what was already working. For me, it was always easier. I was reading an article and learned Elon Musk, he didn't even start Tesla. I didn't know this. He scaled it into the giant it is today. You don't always need to create something brand new. Sometimes you just need to take something good and make it better. Cody Sanchez talks about this a lot and it's spot on. I've done both. I started two private career schools earlier this year and they're not cash flow positive yet, but every luxury spa I purchased was cash flowing from day one. I didn't have to chase clients or build awareness or put systems in place. I just focused on enhancing my earnings and improving my systems. Buying a business gives you a head start. You skip the struggle of building from scratch and walk into something already generating revenue. From there, it's all about scaling and maximizing what's already working. Here's secret number three. Success can sometimes be about timing. I remember the day I got into the Amazon DSP program. It felt like winning the lottery. I had a fight on a win, not fully understanding how big it could become. A few months later, Amazon made it so much harder to join. And I realized just how lucky I had been to get in early. It wasn't just my skills, it was also pure timing. The same thing happened to Oprah. She once said that getting her own talk show wasn't all about her talent. She just happened to be in the right place at the right time. It's humbling to realize that sometimes the universe gives us opportunities we didn't even know we were ready for. Secret number four, most partnerships fail. I used to think having a partner would make things easier. After all, two heads are better than one, right? But I've seen too many business partnerships fall apart. In fact, about 70% of business partnerships 
fail because of conflicts over goals, values, or just the pressure of running businesses together. Luckily, I've never had to go through that because I run all of my businesses with my husband. And that's been one of the key to our success. One of the biggest advantages of working with my spouse is that we already have aligned visions. In marriage, you naturally develop a shared understanding of your goals, your values, and the future you want to build together, which makes it easier to translate into a business partnership. We're already used to working towards common goals, so there's no need to navigate the clashing visions that so often happen in traditional business partnerships. When you're in a business with someone you're not married to, you have to spend a lot of time learning how to align your vision and priorities, which can cause friction. But for us, we've already built this foundation in our marriage. So in business, we hit the ground running. We know how to communicate, compromise, and support each other in both our personal and professional lives. That alignment not only makes running the business smoother, but also helps us stay focused on our shared goals without the stress that often comes with other partnerships. Here's the fifth secret. Debt can be a tool. There was a moment in my business when things got tough, really tough. Sales slow due to seasonality, bills were due, and cash was running out. I remember sitting in my home office thinking, this might be the end. Will Goldman take me back? But that's when I realized something crucial. Debt, when used wisely, can be a powerful tool. I had access to a credit facility, and instead of seeing it as a last resort, I saw it as a way to keep my business moving. That line of credit gave me the breathing room to turn things around. Many people feared debt rightly so, but when used strategically, it's not a burden, it's leverage. It can help you grow and stabilize during hard times and give you options when you need them the most. I learned that it's not about avoiding debt entirely, it's about using it to your advantage. Whether you're investing in expansion or simply need cash flow boost, smart debt can keep your business alive and thriving. The key is to view debt as a tool, not a trap. It's about control and planning ahead so you can weather the unexpected and still stay on course. Here's the next secret. Your team matters a lot and it's important you find the right people. One of the biggest lessons I've learned in business is that your team is your biggest asset. You can have the best idea and the perfect strategy, but without the right people, your business will struggle. In fact, 80% of businesses fail due to poor management of people. That statistic speaks value. It's not just about having a great product or a service. It's about having a team that can execute your vision. When you invest in the right people, everything changes. A strong aligned team not only helps bring your ideas to life, but it also gives you the capacity to focus on the bigger picture. Instead of getting bogged down in the day-to-day -day operations, you can concentrate on growth, strategy, and scaling your business. Good hires may seem expensive upfront, but they tend to pay for themselves in the long run. Why? Because the right people help you generate more revenue. They improve efficiency, enhance customer experience, and drive the business forward in ways you might not be able to do alone. So if you take away one thing, let it be this. Your team is everything. Invest in finding the right people because they are the foundation that allows you to focus on scaling and driving success. And in the end, a strong team doesn't just support your business, they help it grow and thrive. Here's the next secret. Profits don't mean cash. And remember that cash is king. On the surface, a business can seem successful. High profits, steady growth, but if cash flow isn't managed well, everything can fall apart. It's not just about how much revenue you're making. It's about how much cash is available to cover expenses, pay employees, and handle unexpected situations. Without enough cash on hand, even the most profitable businesses can hit a wall. Imagine a business that's landing a big contract and or generating sales, but its clients are slow to pay. Meanwhile, bills are piling up, rent, salary, suppliers. Without that cash flow, they're forced to scramble or take on debt just to keep the doors open. Y'all remember when Richard Branson said, cash flow is more important than your mother? Hmm. Without cash on hand, even one bad month could put a small business out of business. To avoid this, businesses need to stay proactive, tighten up invoice processing, ensure payments are collected on time, and build a reserve for rainy days. Cash flow is key, and maintaining a healthy cash flow is what keeps your business running smoothly regardless of any external circumstances. Okay, we're up to secret number eight. Overnight success takes years. People love to talk about overnight success, but the truth is it takes years of hard work and countless late nights to get there. For many of those nights, it'll be just you, your idea, and sheer determination pushing you forward. No one will see the sacrifices you make or the struggles you face 
No one will be there to cheer you on when things get tough. Often you'll feel like you're in it alone, even if you're surrounded by people. And if you're lucky enough, to have a spouse working alongside you, that's a huge advantage. But even then, it can still feel like you're both on an island, tackling challenges that no one can understand. You'll question if it's all worth it, and you'll feel the weight of responsibility in ways others can't imagine. But when you finally reach success, people only see the results, the fruits of your labor. They don't see the late nights, the tough decisions, or the time you wanted to give up but didn't. And that's okay, the real reward isn't just in what you achieve. It's knowing that you had the strength to push through when no one was watching. Moving on to the ninth secret. Confidence sells more than skill. There have been moments when I felt like an imposter, like I wasn't good enough, smart enough, or experienced enough. But I realized that showing confidence, even when I didn't feel it, opened up several doors for me. People trust confidence. That's it, that's the secret. Last but not least, comfort zones kill growth. I was comfortable in my corporate job at Goldman Sachs. I loved the bank, was earning a steady paycheck, and I had an amazing relationship with my boss. But I wasn't growing fast enough, and I wasn't making as much money as I wanted. I wasn't challenged. It wasn't until I stepped out, terrified, and went all in on my business that I found my true potential. Yes, I failed a lot more times than I care to admit, but each failure was a step closer to my success. I 10x my salary my first year after leaving Goldman. So if there's one thing I hope you take away, it's this. Business isn't about knowing all the answers right away. It's about learning, adapting, and growing through every challenge. It's about understanding that passion will wane, but discipline keeps you going. That sometimes buying into a journey can be smarter than building from scratch. It's about realizing that luck, timing, and the people you surround yourself with can make or break your success. And most importantly, it's about remembering that cash is truly king and confidence can open doors. And stepping out of your comfort zone is where real growth happens. These aren't just lessons, they're lifelines. I wish someone had told me these truths before I started, but now you have them. Use them, share them, and most importantly, live them. What's one secret you wish you knew earlier? Drop them in the comments and let's keep this conversation going. We're all in this journey together and that's how we grow. See you guys next time.